Hello, FlossTube! Hello, FlossTube! Do you like our <laughs> new background? Mammy's so happy that we got this yeah. decorated. So we are in a new spot today. Oh, hello! If you're new, welcome. I'm Helen. This is Rosie, I'm my mum. Yeah. Um, we are the Fibre Tribe. This is a channel about cross-stitching and knitting. And crocheting when I get to it, yeah. And um, we are in our new home of Mammy's craft room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so exciting. So we've had it decorated, this yeah. lovely yellow. Happy paper. We're waiting on some storage to go this yeah. side, so we might, next time we might turn the, yeah. because you'll have all your wool. Yeah. There, you'll be lovely. You'll have organised me. You look on I'm Marie very me. excited, because there is over there, <laughs> just bags and bags of wool yeah. that are homeless. Or they're homeless, bless them. So yes, it's, yeah. very, it's very exciting just to be in a in a permanent spot where we're gonna be yeah. filming. Yeah, it, and it's on. nice, isn't it, I think. Hopefully, we'll see that the lighting's good. Yeah, so if the lighting's off today, I'm sorry. We've got a window over here. I've got the ring light here. Yeah. We'll see. But it's nice. To be in the room where everything is. Yes. Not yeah. trudging everything downstairs into the yeah. living room or yeah, yeah. finding somewhere to be. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, first things first, I want to say thank you to Stitchlet Claire, who gave us a little shout out on Instagram. Oh, she did. I saw that. Uh -huh. She called us. We're lovely, didn't she lovely. say? We're lovely. Lovely. Um, so... Because we're, we're in a new home on YouTube as well because I've been putting all of these videos on my like personal Diddy Stitcher channel. It just makes it easier to admin it from my side. It doesn't really make any difference right. to you. Um, all of the bio links are updated in our Instagram. So we still have the Fiber Tribe Instagram, but it links to the new channel. Yeah. So it's fine. Don't worry about it. You're here, subscribe to this channel, you'll be okay. Um, but thank you if you came from Claire um, yeah. and welcome, we hope you stick around. So <clears throat> we have our little routine, we've got, so, we've got no finishes today, but we're going to talk about whips, haul, and then our plans, and we have a little life update at the end, but if you're not in for that, we'll tell you when yeah. you can peace out. Yeah. So no finishes. Well, I thought I had a finish, but then we decided it's not really a finish. It's not really a finish, so we'll put it in whip. So you don't yeah. want to talk about it now? Yeah, so that's my, um, oh, I forgot what did I call it. Um, the staggered, staggered um, cardigan. Not because you've had a drink, it's because it's um, cables, staggered cables. So all of the bits are done, but it just needs now, what they recommend is a good soaking, wrap it in a towel, squeeze it, mm -hmm. so it doesn't felt, do you know what felting means? It's it gets bubbly. It, gets, it, it goes all nasty and yeah. Like hard. Hard and, oh. and, the, and the stitches aren't defined, they sort of get like a, a furriness all around. Oh, okay. So it's got to be blocked and then... Stitch together. Stitch together. So You've got the sleeves blocks. are all done. <laughs> Bits are all done. The back I didn't do as the pattern said. As if just for somebody who wants a, <clears throat> an update of what that's what the finish is like. So hopefully next time I'll have it all blocked. I've got my blockers now as well because I've got. Yes. So, so I've got proper blockers. And yeah, so but the pattern had said these cables to go up the back. So I made it longer than the pattern. And the cables were to go up sort of like one in the middle and, and then one either side of the back. Split. And I just thought, no, I'll just do it plain. Uh -huh. So that's the beauty, isn't it? Of, uh -huh. of when you can make your own cardigans and things, you can. Choose. Uh, choose what to leave out and what to put, yeah. It's lovely, and this wool is 
that's the Women's Institute uh, Soft and Silky Aran, and that's the mustard. It's really cozy. And it always washes really nice as this as well. And with Women's Institute as well, when you buy the Women's Institute yarn, you there's so much is donated to. <clears throat> you can read that. Oh, a minimum of 14 p from the sale of this item will be given to the National Federation of the Women's Institute. So it's given back into the Women's Institute. Um, yeah, and I don't, it, uh, the only place I found it is Hobbycraft. Uh -huh. So Hobbycraft, um, and if you're US, that's, I don't know if you'll get it there, but that would be the equivalent. It's Hobby Lobby, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. It's a similar. It's a similar outlet. Yeah. yeah. So yes, so this will be ready for the autumn maybe yes it's only taken a year i'm gonna try and take pictures because i've been really bad at taking pictures i think i'm gonna have to do like Alyssa from stitching at the cabin does and take pictures as we go yeah but i don't think that's really gonna work with this so i'm gonna have to lay it all out and take a so, picture of what it looks like yeah all the panels and then next time we can show um, it all together. it's been a nice project because i've learned things about <clears throat> the different cable and shaping i've never done a shaping to the way yeah so it's been oh, a good, good. nice it's lovely oh you've got another one here oh it's a arm oh, that's a sleeve so that's that's that one so it's kind of a semi-finish but not quite fully finished yeah i think that's it when we're finished here i'll do the blocking because i've got nothing else on today little legs isn't around so it's coming over after this is she? Yeah. All right. We can do Because I'll get the pins out, you see. We can lay it in here. Right. Well, you can do it then. Because I prefer it on the table because then I don't have to bend down. We can do it on the table and then I'll just bring them up here and yeah. lay them down. All right. We'll do that then. It's the plan. So have you got to a whip? I've got a whip. Um, I've got my moon and stars. So this is one of my full coverage pieces um it's alphonse mucha um moon and stars there are four pieces i'll put a little picture of them all together and i'm doing them like one at a time so each panel will be separated but it's all on one piece of fabric um and then i'll, I'll frame it as one so this is on 25 lugana vintage gray by Zweigart. It's just one of those printed fabrics rather than the um, hand dyed ones. It looks hand dyed but it's just on one side of the fabric um, and that was just so when I have I'll have like a an inch or two gap in between each one you can you can see a little bit of, of that. Um, so I got quite far on this. I'm liking how it's stitching up um, and I'm doing it on Pattern Keeper as well. And that's really nice to be able to follow it because I cr you see I can I cross country stitch, um so seeing where the stitches are down here without having to count on a paper piece really helps. Can I ask you a question? Of course. So you see the back? Oh, don't look at my back. Yeah, but when you do when it comes to doing the stitch on sort of round here, uh -huh. how do you manage with? The gubbins there. Well, I'll just the stitches are just so tiny. Uh huh. So I, if I'm if I'm stitching, so Mum's asking about. So if I was stitching, oh, where's it gone? Like a piece there. There was a stitch down here. So I would be stitching up here somewhere, and I would just trail the thread down here. So I wouldn't start and stop. No, what I mean is, so when you trail your bit down how do you get through to like where you like here if you were to do how do i push the needle through? how do you get through yeah when there's so many threads crossed over that it doesn't really matter too much about the back as long as you can get to the hole and there should only ever be four threads in the hole and you can always get it's but it's a bit tight because this is 25 count but i'm doing it one over one some people do two over mm -hmm. one on 25 and it gets really tight. Yeah. Um, but 25 is just... That's how I wonder, does it make it lumpy at the front? 
if you've got so much going on at the back. It can do, and then right. sometimes, yeah, you might hit something and it doesn't quite go all the way through and you yeah. do use a snag nab it. Oh. So it's a needle and it's like ribbed at the top. So you push the needle through with no thread or anything and then the little ribs, as you're pulling it, like pull it back through. Right. So you can... So it flattens it. Right. Or if you'd like. So it is a thing. It is a thing, yeah. Right. But it's easily fixed. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, just, just, it's not too much of an issue. It's just... And sometimes you might have to, like, go around a bit. Mm -hmm. Like, so if I was coming from this side... Yeah. And I might... Let me get my needle and show you. So I might have to, like, work around there... Yeah. So take an indirect route, right, to get the best right. positioning. But it doesn't harm the front. No, no. I mean, my back is terrible. I'll show you my back because I don't really care. Um, it's gonna get framed. No one's gonna see it. It's how I stitch. Um, it can it can make it lumpy, sometimes, but it's yeah. it's something that I'm not bothered about. You're not gonna see yeah. when it's framed. Some people are very. So they wouldn't Conscious go from there to there. No, like look yeah. at that. Look at those trails. Am I give? Am I triggering some people now? Because <laughs> some people would hate that, right? Some people would actually like think that I was crazy for doing that. Yeah. Some people don't care. Yeah. Um, and it, that's each to their own. Mm -hmm. of how you do it, you get the same effect at the end. Yeah. See, if I was just starting at cross stitching, that's yeah. one of the things I'd need to know. Yeah. Well, some, some people do the parking method. I've tried the parking method. It, I can't. Right, parking method. So the parking method is in full coverage. So it's not too much of an issue with the, like the little ones, but the big full coverage. Mm -hmm. So, you know how each, so the, the, chart is split into like 10 by 10 yeah yeah so you'd start here and you'd say right that top corner is one color mm -hmm. and you'd stitch that color and then you'd find out you kind of go left to right and then back again and back again finding the next color of that yeah and you'd put the needle through and this is it depends on how you stitch so i start at the bottom left that's my leg. Yeah. You put the needle in the bottom left leg mm -hmm. and pull it through. Mm -hmm. And then you take the... Or some people leave the needle on and they have just a million needles going on. Oh, right. And they leave that thread <gasps> hanging. God. And then they go to the second stitch and say, right, that colour. And they'd... They'd... I don't know how... It just doesn't compute with my brain. You'd do each stitch in order so then you get a neater back because you're yes you're stitching over you don't get all these yeah things cross or you will but you're stitching over it as you go right so it's neater or they'll not they'll not go beyond so the 10 be by 10 really i will saving. show you some pictures of the amount of the red that is just left right. on the front that would just confuse me it totally confuses me yeah and they have like a it on their pattern they'll have like a little mark to say there's the thread there to start the stitch but i've not finished the stitch yet but i did it and i couldn't right if i'd counted wrong it was like mm -hmm. there's a thread there but i'm not supposed to make a stitch there it just didn't so that's quite purist isn't it that if they'd start, so they would start all the way along. They do, if they do a 10 by 10, sometimes they do a 10 by 10 and do this whole row first. They'll do the whole top row. Some of them do like feathering into the next row so you don't get stripes caused by your different tensions going up and down. Mm. Honestly, like I love looking at it because mm -hmm. it is amazing, but Sounds I can't. Like it. Right. I can't do it. I am... Um, well, there we are. Call we've, me a heathen. We've learned something. Thank you for that tutorial. For being an extreme cross country <clears throat> but it's just how I roll. Mm. Well, 
hopefully that's interesting for other people who are yeah it's like other cross stitchers i think would know would know about that but you're not a cross stitcher no you learning about this i'm not a knitter so i learn about knitting on here i don't know but yeah so yeah that's my moon and stars um piece so i wonder if there's people out there saying helen yes i know what you mean but yeah, some people... My backs are terrible. Backs are terrible. I extreme cross country. I don't care. Some people are looking at that and like, I can't look. Do you it's know what? terrible. That's, that's really surprised me because you are so finicky usually about things having to be done in order. You in need order. To be I have everything organized. in order. My DVDs are in alphabetical order. My books are in alphabetical Even order. Even knowing what you're doing in the day has to be... You have to know... Yeah, my work is very organised. <clears throat> so, yeah. This is, it's my rebellion, That's, is having a messy back. Th- well, thank goodness it's coming out that way and not coming out in some other negative way. Although, you know, in the cross-stitch community, you might be seen as an absolute rebel. A rebel. I will be shunned. I think it's brilliant. So have you got another whip? Um. Yeah, what's my next whip? <clears throat> Um, so, this is Anna's Cody. So that was the one I was going to say, get up. It's called, <clears throat> it's from Drops. Um, oh yeah, mum wants me to put a picture. Baby alpaca. So it's called, the, the pattern, it's dead simple. Really easy, simple. But I was going through loads of different patterns for, this is for Helen's daughter, who is just over a year old. My darling little friend, granddaughter. <clears throat> so it's really simple. So that's the whole back. Do you want to? That's the whole back and arms, all done in one piece. And this yarn is just, oh, it's gorgeous. And so then I started the. <clears throat> um, right front left front the one without the buttons so this is going to be this will be that way around i suppose um where the buttons will be on and the buttonholes will be on the other side so really nice quick simple so what's this stitch is this just the stock this is just a garter stitch so it's all all knit what's stockinette is that different <clears throat> or is that, oh, is that a US version? Oh no, it's stock and stitch. No. Oh gosh, you've got me mixed up now. Oh. So there's, there's doing, you do plain, so in over, through and off, and then purl the other side, which is in but through the front. front. So, no, I think this is garter stitch. <clears throat> so this is all knit, so just the straight, the straight stitch, like the, the in in over through and off both sides right so it gives you the the knit stitch but it's so lovely and soft and i found the pattern for it from if you go to www.garnstudios all of the patterns are free i'll put the link down below <clears throat> and there is lots of them so Looked at lots of patterns and Helen was, mm, that's a bit flowery, that's a bit I just want a plain fashion. white cardi, because yeah. it's the summer, she's got short sleeves on, but if it gets to the afternoon and it's a bit chilly, just to put a Long cardigan sleeves on. on. <clears throat> yeah. So, that's nearly done. Um, take two seconds to sew it up. Mm-hmm. Purists will probably block it, but I'm not going to block it. It's just, yeah, it's easy, simple to put in the wash. But I think what I noticed, I hadn't noticed before, but on the <clears throat> on the band, it gives you the, um, so then you can put it in oh, for yeah. the drop studio and you get all of this. So this is clusters, um, yarn, <clears throat> what did I say? Yarn group A. So that's like sort of the finest the uh, yarns. So they give you if you it's got like little drop down boxes so you can select 
yarn group A and does it mean that it's the best you one? can do oh. no no it's graded to D so like so that sort of the thinnest four ply I think it's seen as DK but it's it's yeah so the th yeah okay the thinnest two Aaron would be the thick so it gives you all of the patterns you can drop down so yarn group A babies children or you can do women's or um, accessories mm -hmm. and then it'll bring all the patterns up of that and they're free so then what I found was <coughs> If I haven't got that yarn, if I see a nice pattern and say the DK weight would be which would be yarn group B, mm -hmm. then I'll go on to this place called Yarn Sub, put in drops, I'll pack a DK weight, uh -huh. yarn group B, and yarn sub would give you then a list of all the nearest different yarns that that you could use okay. if you haven't got um drops you could use i don't know king cole sirdar stylecraft whatever uh-huh yeah so yeah. you can like see what's in your stash yeah Very so good. just um, off a little band i found such a lot of i will put it all down below if you mm. want to go and have a look so that's a nice easy simple one sit and watch netflix watch a mindless mindless you can just yeah wonderful so have you got i've got another one? one so showed you last time my mill hill thing so i finished i'll show you the whole thing because i didn't show you the whole thing before because it was on the keys now oh that's so lovely so Helen. this so is clever. my mill hill christmas village um <gasps> you're so clever so i'm doing 12 on this i'm going to make it a wall hanging for Christmas. That is so beautiful. So I've done, so I started with this one, I think that's the Queen Anne house, and I did everything, I did the stitching, I did the beading, I did the back stitch, because I had it on a scroll rod, and then I decided I don't like scroll rods, I like hmm. key snaps, and with a key snap, it's hard to, with the beads, with the beads, without squishing them, probably breaking them. So, I think, oh, I did I did leave the buttons off because it's the beads and buttons. So, there should be a wreath on this one, I think. This one's the bakery. So, it's got a little gingerbread man that sits on the sign here. So, I've done the beads on this one as well. And then I got to the tree farm. And, yeah, I decided I didn't want it on the scroll rods anymore. I had to put it on the key snap. So I've missed off the beads on that, but I've done the back stitch. Um, sorry. Um, whoop. So then I did the apothecary and the country church. I think that one's called. Again, missing out the beads, but I did the back stitching. And then this is the one that I finished most recently is the needle workshop but i haven't done the back stitch on this and i think i'm going to leave the back stitch for the rest of them until i go back and so, do all the beading and everything so what's a back stitch so it, it's got like needle workshop along oh there. so i would back stitch that so right okay um so it's not cross stitch no so all the cross stitch is finished mm -hmm. on ah, this i see right okay that's so lovely helen that's a, it's really that's a piece pretty. that's going to be, yeah, in your family for years and years and uh -huh. years. So on the pattern of each of them, there's like snow that goes around, but I've left that off because they're all sat next to each other. So they've got the snow on the ground, but I've left the snow off. But just seeing these two with the beads, it just shows you it's how gonna lovely it's going to so be. It's so sumptuous and really really christmasy uh -huh. do you know where you're gonna hang it i don't know where i'll hang it yet oh it needs to be in the sitting room definitely needs to be in your but i've got main room two more because they've got so many of these little mm -hmm. pieces so each one you buy is a little kit um so i've already got 
ones that I've got for my second one and then they come out with like a new one each year so I have to do a third one to start a third one um but I can't sew so when I make it into a wall hanging I have to like interface it and get a backing fabric and put like some kind of hanging thing with a dowel um I don't know how I'm gonna do that because I can't sew We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm just enjoying the stitching at the minute. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's... It's too much fabric, but there's going to be another six on this. I'm so interested in this all over. So this is on 28 count, dirty, by Spygar, um, because it's 14 count, paper... What do they call it? The bit that you get in the kit is like paper, Pun punctured paper, no, perforated paper, that's what it's called. So it's 14 count perforated paper that you get in the kit, so in order for the beads to fit you have to do 28 count linen over 2, which equates to the same size as 14 count. Right, you've lost me. No, okay, so you've got the, you know the different counts of fabric? Yes. So the count is how many holes with per inch. Uh -huh. So the higher your number, the smaller your yeah, squares. Yeah. yeah. So with Ada or perforated paper, as you get in these kits. Oh, I see. It's the perforated port. paper is to put them in the kit Just to yeah. them. Oh, so you would right. stitch it on a little bit, but it's like kind of oh, hard see. paper, and you'd just frame that as one. But because I'm doing it all oh, one, one. See, I understand now. So yeah, but the perforated paper is what count? Fourteen, and this is twenty-eight because right. it's got to be over two. Yeah, and they sized it for the beads to fit. So yes. if I were to do it on a smaller count, yeah, beads the beads would, would be, be too big for big, it. Yeah. So that's that. See, oh, the maths in it as well. Uh -huh. And I regularly get it wrong. I have to use my little the little cross stitch calculator that Yarn Tree does online. Right. And tells you like what count your fabric is, how big your design is, and what so how big your fabric should be. And I've done it wrong so many times. Mm -hmm. Start again, rip it out. Well, I've orientated it the wrong way. Ah, I think that's important to say as well because when I've watched these, although it hasn't been flossed you, but it might be, um, the autumn is rumbling. It is, I'm really <laughs> hungry. I hope you can't hear it. On the... I can, it's going crazy. <laughs> I need a biscuit. Yeah, is that we get it wrong? Well, absolutely, we pull out things so many times. Redo and re like you saying you're this new cast on, casted it all on, which took me two days just to cast on. Uh huh. Because it's a new. Then method. I started to knit it, and it was too loose, so I had to pull it all out mm -hmm. and think. Right. Do I, do I need to use? I think. Well, maybe talk about it, but well, I think I might need to use my, Leica needles. So they're not so slippy. Yeah. So that the the stitches grip a bit more, mm. rather than the. It's always learning. You always learn something new. And th this is it, isn't it? It's, it's. How long have you been knitting? Oh, since I was eight. Yeah. And you're still learning. Yeah, but seriously taken up as a big hobby. It's probably been the, the last. Oh, what was it? Eight years? That's six years that I've been. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, to this extent. To this extent, yeah. <clears throat> so, so yes, it is, and I think sometimes when I've watched um, of lost tubes, YouTube's um, of the knitting people, yes, I watch. Ni yeah, knit tube. Do you have a knit tube? Is that um, no? Do you know what I don't know? Hello, knit tube. But I follow. Um, Knititude. She's in Canada and she's really good and she um, she will tell you she's got it wrong 
and she's only been doing it, only been knitting sort of about four years or something like that. Uh -huh. She's already doing her own designs and own patterns awesome. and having testers. Yeah. And she's just so clear and honest about how she's made mistakes. Uh -huh. Nobody's perfect. And I think when you watch some of this, so some of them I watch who are like sort of show you how to do a cast on or whatever, it's like you think, oh. I don't very... keep getting it wrong. I'm not as good as them. No. They, you know, maybe I can't knit or maybe I can't crochet. And I think, yeah, I think it's it's nice, just refreshing to hear the real life of, yes. of a crafter. Yeah, we whatever we... craft. Yeah, we don't pretend to be perfect. I Have you got another one? Um, so I did that one. So, oh, uh, it's just me, sun dancer sucks. I don't know why, I'm not, I thought I would get one quicker. Oh, your scarves, you the said socks. Did I? Sun dancer so uh, scarves, yeah. So, these are for um, a mission, for uh, sun dancers, they are- That's gone. People who, um, born live in South Shields which is an area in South Tyneside and they've got this uh, lots of knitters around the area knitting scarves so they can all be sewn together for to go around the marketplace in South Shields I think it's September they're going to do it um, and it's in need of homeless mm -hmm. and so then they'll give the scarves to the homeless people and they've asked for specific sizes because they found that what homeless people do with their scarves as well is um, fold them up, roll them up and use them as a pillow. So, <clears throat> so I decided to do them three at a time so I don't know if this sock knitters will know you do the socks two at a time so that you don't get second sock syndrome. Uh -huh. So I thought, well, why not do three? Four, three, five scarves at a time. Ten scarves at a when time. I, when I did my sleeves for me, staggered. I did yeah. the two, two sleeves at a time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like it? And I just thought, why it just not? Makes sense. Makes sense. Does, so it does take longer for the. For each getting one. the gratification of a. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if you see how long each one is now, it's that would have been one yeah you would have finished one scarf yeah but my old memory won't hold the pattern it do it does for some stuff so still got to look at the pattern which is that's time consuming time consuming yeah yeah not mindless like and, and then scarf. untangling the yarn so maybe it wasn't such a good idea to do well it. but it was fun to just different isn't it just use a bit of yeah, so that's Leftover all yarn. I've been working on, although I was working on <clears throat> um, a new start for myself using that, the same yarn um, that I'm doing Anna's cardigan in. Mm -hmm. um, and But it started off, it's in a birder, I don't know if any knitters know the birder patterns, they're very... So they're not like sort of for new starters or intermediate. You've got to be quite advanced. You know, advanced or, yeah. Or some of them are really easy. Uh -huh. Some of them they'll, they'll say easy. But these um, little catalogues come with um, like the Knitter magazine or, you know, mm -hmm. the, the magazine, kn knitting magazine. So they come with like a little extra. And I think it's a German company. So okay. they have all different um stitches that are unusual to me okay so there was this new stitch new cast on method called the i cord so i youtubed it mm -hmm. and i was like what so for knitters out there you for this particular start um, a jumper that's in like one piece um you knit you see cast on five stitches and then the first stitch you go in through the back so you knit it as if you're going to knit but you don't cast up you don't pull it off <laughs> and then you go through the back 
So you're making another stitch. So knitters will know to make a, a new stitch. So then you get, but you have to pull it really tight because you've you slip the needle. What I didn't see right. So you cast on, knit them back, and then you slip those stitches back onto the left hand needle, and then so the I should demonstrate. <laughs> should it, the, the your yarn is left here. Your working yarn is left here. So you have to pull it across. And I thought, well, that's not going to work. But it, uh, so I looked at YouTube and yeah, that's how it, it works. Did. So you just make a new stitch at the beginning, knit them all back, slip them back again, and then make one at the beginning, but you've got to pull it really tight. So it was 178 stitches. 176 stitches to cast on that way which right. took took me two days not two full days but two you know sessions sessions and so i thought oh right i see so it's like a cord so it makes the like like how i would do um crochet cord yes and it's so that round the collar it's standing up so it won't flop yes flop down and so when I started knitting, you know, I've got cast it all on and then to start with the pattern mm -hmm. of, of knitting, it was like sort of, you know, between the, the stitch and the and the cast oh, on okay. was gappy. Yeah. So I had to pull it all out and start again. But as you, when I was telling you this morning, you said, well, with my German... Your German cast on. cast on. That took you like a week to figure out, and yeah. now it's your favorite thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. So, you're learning all the time. It's mm -hmm. good, but so I was doing it on me, um, chow goo needles, which are really slippy, really good steel. I love them mm -hmm. needles. So that's what I call them turbo needles, fast needles. So I think maybe for this cast on method, I need to use the wooden needles or the Leica needles. So it grips. So that it doesn't, yeah, slip so much. So when I pull, it stays it tight. Stay tight. Yeah. Cool. So that would have been a new whip, but I pulled it out. So. Okay. So that's that's it really for my whips. Have you got any more? So I've got two more. Um, so I've got my Sunny St. Mary's by True Veil Stitch Kits. So this is just my, I keep it on my desk and if I'm, if I've got some time, I'll just put some in. I'm literally, I'm just filling in all this blue because there's just so much blue, but it's so easy now that I've filled in all of this stuff, I can just fill in around it. So that's really good. Um, I'll try and put up a fourth and I will take a picture today and next time so this is a kit um true veil is it true veil i'm blanking on her name i think it's jen jennifer yes um so this lighthouse is in whitley bay which is just up the coast from us here uh so she's done loads of um different lighthouses around the northeast um, different landmarks. She just released the Baltic. Yes, I really like her. that one. Yeah. So, um, and they're all kits. I think you can just get PDF patterns as well if you just want because they're it's just DMC. And uh, this is on eighteen count white Ada. So it will be full coverage, eventually. Um, but it's just a little one, and it's gonna yeah fit nicely in a five by seven, I think. And your back is so neat on that one. Well, yeah, this because. I don't have to go very far, so all my stitches from the blue, because they're just quite um, close together, but I still carry, oh, this side, I still carry my grey stitches from there to there, which I probably shouldn't because it's dark and I'm white, but it'll all get filled in and you shouldn't. I like your little needle minder as well. Oh yeah, that's uh, like a little babushka doll mm -hmm. thing that matches my uh, 
Can like, I keep it on my 8 by 8 Q-snap. Q-snap, but I took it off because I only have one 8 by 8 and it's got my little women on that's next. Um, oh, that's the um, that's what it's going to look like. Yeah. Should we be able to stick it? I'll link her below as well. So, yeah. That's my... Oh, that's so pretty. It's getting there. Slowly. It's just a nice one. Got all these things. Where are you going to... You haven't got many walls. I haven't got many to walls. walls. To put these things in, so you'll have to start filling Mummy's walls up. Oh, you want me... Do you want, do you want this one? Yeah. Well, though that colour go lovely with... My living room now yes. is blues. Blues. Duck egg blues. So that was <clears> that one. And my last one, I just started a couple of days ago. This is the Stitching Book Club's um, Little Women's Sal. Um, not a lot on there yet, but it was nice. I stayed up late last night doing this so I had a little bit more to show you mm-hmm. but yeah this is the the grime guard that goes with that needle minder are they forget me nots no I don't know it's just purple little purple flowers or is it mysterious I don't know I don't know if it's supposed to be anything just stylized but it's nice so do you have you got a pattern with that yes yeah, so I'll put the it's a mystery sal so it comes out in blocks oh right um, so you haven't got it all haven't got it all. Can I show you? So I've chosen to do this one on the same fabric that I did the last one for the Stitching Book Club. Sal is 25 count um, white linen. So it's going to be teeny, teeny, teeny. So that's how I like it. Yeah, I did have... Um, one of our last hauls that I showed, I had a, a pin that I got with a quote from Louisa May Alcott. Um, that I was going to turn into a needle miner, but the pin was so heavy it wouldn't sit on oh, my fabric. Right. So I've just, I've put a magnet on it and it sits on the fridge. Yeah, I have to get some more. But yeah, that was all the stitching. Yeah. Mhm. Stitching and knitting. Mammy's got lots of haul to show you. <laughs> lots and lots of haul. <clears throat> yeah. Um, where do I start? What'd you get first? Um, <clears throat> oh, well, I've got this for your cardigan. So this is Drops again, because I think we saw on that Garn Studio uh, the cardigan that you liked. Mm-hmm. So I did a very unusual thing and got the correct yarn to the correct pattern. Rebellious of you. And didn't, yeah. Oh, so that's yarn group B. Yeah. Oh, I see. So you see? So you see the difference? There's 50% wool, 50% cotton. Yeah. And it's in this, like, kind of... It's just what colour colour you 28. It? What? I'll call it, like, a biscuity colour. Oatmeal colour, like a creamy... It's got a pink tinge to it. A pink hue, would Liz say. Would you say? I don't know. It just looks like beige. Beige. It's just beige. So it's nice and soft, cottony, and... <clears throat> How many balls is that for wool, my cardigan? Wool warehouse, well, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you going to use all of them on my cardigan? Um, possibly, yes, because you want it a bit longer. Yeah. But they're only 50 gram balls, you see, they're not 100 gram balls. Oh, okay. So... Well, at night, yeah. So there you can see. Uh, you do it. The yarn group B. And so this is new to me as well, finding those things out. And I always get my, there's all different places you can get your yarn from, but I usually stick with the old faithful well, warehouse. Because you get these bags. It comes quickly. When the postman come, I was busy spraying my uh, weeds weed killer and he came up in his little van and he says oh good time and I says have you got a squishy parcel for me and he did <laughs> squishy and he says <clears throat> I've got something for you and he went oh yeah it is squishy <laughs> he literally went oh 
had to scream. So I wasn't flirting. I just thought, right. So, yes, yeah, so that's for, um, I don't know, what do you call it then when you've got the yarn or your things ready? It's kitted up. All right. No, is that not what you were saying? No, no. That's, that's what I would say. Kitted. I've got loads of things kitted up, but I've not started them. Right, okay, well, it's not, yeah. Uh, so that was, that's that. But I had all, oh, so the other haul I got was some more of that Drops Alpaca Silk. Uh huh. Which um, was for Anna's cardigan. Oh, yeah, because I, I like that colour, but you using... only had a little bit of it, so you had to yeah. get more of the colour. Yeah. Um, so that's that. Um, then we went to <clears throat> uh, curtain shopping, so took curtains back and mm -hmm. the place where we went to take the curtains back and get someone happened to have a hobby craft next to it. So you just have to, you have to go say hello. So I already have in the top drawer some of this, so again this is, um, Women's Institute, um, Aaron Gray. So this will knit up a nice, I don't know whether I want to do a shawl mm -hmm. or a chunky jumper for the winter for myself. Or I might even do a blanket. Do you think it would be, it looks like it would be something good out of your um, Outlander book? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rustic. Oh, that's what I was going to do with that one. You've reminded me now. Because I've got one ball, I think, in there of it uh, yeah is the do you remember I made the gathering cape yes um well do you know the one she wears and she wears it round her oh yes yeah, like wrapped yeah yes so, and tucked into her belt yeah yeah so I was thinking I've got some green of the same yarn for the stripe oh yes yes yeah. that'd be lovely so I might make that for myself for you know, like sitting on an evening. Yep. Might do one for Liz. Yep. Yep. So, and then... Uh, so then I got two balls of that one. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> and I thought that might That's make a nice cute. jumper. That's lovely. Like a nice... Speckles in. Like yeah. Black yep. and brown. And, and so you don't need too much pattern with that. I think just a nice chunky... Chunky jumper. And it's nice and soft. Because I don't have a beast. Four four hundred grams. Four hundred grams. So I've got two of them. Yeah. You don't know what you're gonna do with that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. And then I've got <clears throat> these two extra to go with the I think it's in the second row. Yeah. Down. No. Must be the bottom drawer then. I'll get to the bottom drawer. It's in one of the little um bags. So I'd already had, I think, three or four balls of that. So I've got another two now that Anna's grown um, for a next jumper cardigan or something. Mm -hmm. So Love it was ball. just a couple of... So that's Sirdar Snuggly. Snuggly Cashmere Merino. So Merino's the, the kind of um, sheep, I think. Now, I'm going to put glasses on, but I don't know if that says. So, you see, you could put in, what, what I was talking about, that yarn uh, sub, sub. Yeah. Yeah, so you could put that in. Yeah. And it'll give you all the different ones, so it might come up with drops. Yes, because that's the same. Yeah. Softy. Yeah. Weighty. Uh-huh. Very nice. But, yeah. <clears throat> and then... <clears throat> If you remembered me scarves, the purple one, it's got a bit of this, but I didn't have much left. So I got two balls of this to do because I made you, can you remember I made you your hat? Yes, that I used in the garden. Yeah. Scarf. Little scarf. Little scarf. Um, is it a scarf or is it a muffler? Right. No, it's a scarf. Oh, right. So, yeah, I do scarves for the... Sand dancer yeah. scarf thing with that. So that's 
because I think because they said they wanted dark colours and so I just thought well that's a it's a darker but it's got some interest in it yeah and then um <clears throat> I bought this took me there's a big story to that I don't know if you want to because to save my voice okay <clears throat> so you wanted to make a jumper for Liz yeah so Liz is my sister your other daughter younger daughter yeah. who recently not came out but discovered yeah that she is gender fluid gender neutral no gender fluid gender fluid yeah. Um, <clears throat> so you wanted to make her a t-shirt, a t-shirt jumper with some stripes. So like the gender, but to make it the gender fluid, fluid flag, pride flag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. it was really difficult to find the right colours in all the same, in the same brand, brand and yarn weight. Group. Yeah. So managed to find it. What so what's this? That's um so it's King Cole. King Cole. So knitters will know that brand. So is this, a, is so this gonna, gonna be like the, the main body in the grey. Uh huh. Because I thought that would go. But the gender neutral flag fluid. Gender fluid flag, you see, she knows I'll get things wrong. Have specific colour pink blue and purple so i don't know which think, order it goes in i think it goes <clears throat> the, the, the other way then yeah i think the pink goes at the end yeah so those specific shades of color yes especially the purple and the blue to get them so i found Loads of places, loads of things that did did them, but then they might not have the black. Yeah. Or they might not have white in it. Yeah. So I didn't want to. It's quite a special project. I think I'm mm -hmm. doing whereas I wanted it to be right. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> and then I've ordered more than I need. That'd be lovely. Yeah, I think with the grey it go nice because it will go. And that's <clears throat> that sort of the pattern. <clears throat> this is just a um, an extra that came with the Let's Knit magazine, July magazine. Um, I, mean, I could do it with the long sleeve. I could do anything, any, but I just thought with the stripes at the top, like the flag at the top, mm -hmm. it would be. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> but it just made us think that there should be, a, a, or if you know, if there's a if there's a designer or a wool dyer that does a variegated one even. Uh huh. Versions of of different pride flags. Let us know because we would be very interested. Mm -hmm. Um. Because I even looked on Instagram and put in the hashtag. Yeah. Um gender fluid and all it came up there was one person who'd knitted a, a hat like a Sauchi hat uh -huh. in the colours uh -huh. but that was all there wasn't yeah so I was quite surprised at uh -huh. lots, lots of rainbow limited. stuff for like the yeah the yeah so the gender original five fluid five I think five. it is the gender fluid has got oh I'm getting mixed up aren't you I mean, you're non-binary. Non-binary. It's got the yellow. It's got the yellow. Let me check. So, anyway, I just thought, see a lot on um, Instagram, and then it is on the LGBTQT+, um, where they'll do rainbows. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. But very little on specific, specific flags. Uh -huh. um, and I thought somebody's missing out somewhere. Yeah. Because even um, 
Lakeside Needle Craft <coughs> that I get all my uh, or most of my cross stitch supplies from and they put on their Instagram that they were doing like different collections of DMC um, like different colorways so they did uh, like you could get like a, a, a load of reds different types of reds and different types of blues and purples and such um, and they, they, they said like what should we what are the groups would you like to see and I said you should do all the different pride flags yeah because like to there's so many different shades but it's picking the right purple yes or the right blue yeah um and you could sell them as a as a bundle mm -hmm. of the different of the pride flag and all your different yeah I might I might get in touch with the stripy cat yarns she dyes her own you know when I did my melon socks oh yeah <clears throat> they're around somewhere um so she's um independent dyer mm -hmm. um so i could do her some socks or a hat uh -huh. in that that colorway in that colorway in the because she's very clever how she made the melon socks to to look like melon with the little black seeds yes you know? so when you yeah doing the when you're doing socks the, it comes out it's not just looking you know it, it looks melony yeah it's so <clears throat> i don't know so, how dyes do it it's wonderful uh, yeah it, they seem to be underrepresented yes and being at pride month yeah it's pride month yeah so you know i sent there's a, a photograph of the colors and she was like yep yeah, that's right. Awesome. So when are you so, going to start that one? <clears throat> I'll finish Anna's cardigan first. And, and mine. And then I'll start yours and your cardigan. And this is <clears throat> tea. Um, What's that? So then, when we're in Hobbycraft, because buttons is a thing. I think with COVID as well, when I was looking um, for buttons, when I was doing Anna's little, oh, the little cardigan that I did, <clears throat> with the short sleeves when she was a baby. Yes. Finding buttons, so you get the wooden buttons. But then, I don't know, it was a supply thing with COVID, Whatever the button pe making people were furloughed. <laughs> no buttons to be had. But there was a real yeah shortage of buttons, so <clears throat> so I got a so it's a choice for you to make whether on a little cardigan that I'm doing now because she loves bees. She loves bees. Or there's like a grey with a little. No, I think the bees would look cute with a little uh, yellow. I I think yeah, yeah, the white cardigan and then yeah. just a bee. Yeah. So a bee cardigan. A bee cardigan. Yeah. Cute. So that's it. That's all your haul. That's all my haul. So I have some haul too, but I don't have it all here because I have to come over to Mum's house to film. So I have to bring it, all of my whips and everything. Um, So I'll tell you about the stuff that I got but it's not interesting to show so I think two videos ago I showed my county canvas pieces that I'd um accidentally ordered oh yeah the patterns right so I ordered the frame because you have a piece of canvas so I've got the canvas and the frame for you like pin it to the canvas pin it right. to the frame right um so i got them but I'm oh not is doing that it. what those wooden blocks were i saw yeah yeah it yeah so you fit them together and then mm -hmm. it's kind of like a q snap but without yeah bending the canvas um so i got them i also got the needles to do that so you need 
size 22 which are quite chunky tapestry needles I love the John James needles and I also got John James pebbles so I always get these pebbles they these are just like mm -hmm. sharp um like regular sewing needles okay, so it's so a nice I little case um and they all sit nicely in like a little hole so for the 22 it might be a bit tight but that's okay um so i've got all of my different size needles mm -hmm. in one of these pebbles and i always get this color because i just like this color um they do different pebbles for different sizes but just so they're all the same color i get one of these and then i just put all these needles in a little needle case that i've got to just when i'm sewing on trouser buttons that have popped off or whatever like not my cross stitch and stuff so i just put a little i've got a label maker and i put a little label of what sizes and what yeah um size fabric you should use it on so that was the needles for the the counter canvas um i have some threads coming from 123 stitch which is the american site because i couldn't find the krennic that I needed for the Starry Skies piece that I'm going to do. Um, me and Julie um, from Stitching It With The Cabin. Um, All right. Going to have a little hashtag. Hashtag FNN Sal from Nancy's Needle Sal because she's got a All kit right. that she's got ready to go. Um, so when my threads come in, mm -hmm. we're going to start that. Um, oh, I also got a, the extra wide Lowry arm because, all oh, right, so it just gives me a little bit extra room yeah. when I'm working on my little pieces. Yeah. Because uh, my couch arms are quite wide. Mm -hmm. So that's on the way. Um, so other things that I got, I got some magnets just from Amazon um, to do some needle minders so I made I made some last year um, just for me um, with some Christmas kind of embellishments that I got from Hobbycraft so they're just these like wooden um, pieces that you can put on cards or whatever so these were just sat, so I thought I'd make them up um, after I got some magnets. Because I needed to get that magnet for the Little Women one. But it didn't work. So anyway, I made these. So there's oh, a little robin. Right. That's lovely. And a Christmas tree. And a little like Scandinavian star. Kind of star. So I've got I've got my own. But I've got two of these stars. I've got two Christmas trees and I've got three robins. And if you want one, I will send you one. Just comment below. Oh, wow. Cause a giveaway. It's a little giveaway. It's not be it's not to get followers or anything. Um it would be nice if you were a subscriber. Don't say giveaway. Um just comment. Comment star, tree, or robin, depending on which one you want. Um, and I'll do if if there's more than the people. If more people want them than there are, then I'll do like a a random comment picker. Mm -hmm. But if ah. like only two people want trees, I'll send them. Lovely. Um, that's and then so nice. and your ring and my ring. So this is this is I just love this just and I think so everybody sweet. should have one. This ring, um, it's a little. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm, I can't get my hand in the right shape. It's a needle. It's a little ring. So this is from a little Etsy shop called Little Homebird Jewelry 
Uh, she's from Hull, where we used to live. Uh, and so my husband got me these bangles. So this one's got a little, oh, this is awful. A little dandelion with like the wishes going around. And then this one's just got a little heart. So I've had these for years from her as well. So I follow her on Instagram. I think she's just wonderful. She makes lovely things. And she made this ring for a friend of hers for her birthday because she's a seamstress or right. she sews or and I, and immediately as soon as I saw it I messaged her I said you need one I need one can you make another are you making more is it and she's like oh like I just made it for her birthday like yeah I could make you one if you want it would be like a custom order thing I'm like yeah absolutely um she's like oh maybe I'll make it into a like a limited run and I said what whatever you think about it if you want to make one and price it as like a custom mm -hmm. order or let me know if you're going to make a run of them and I will absolutely have one. Mm -hmm. um, and she's like, okay, well, I'll, I'll make you one now and I'll think about it later. Um, and so I think the next day she set up the, um, the bit in her shop for me to go and pay for it. And then two days later, I had it. Wow. She's amazing. So it's sterling silver. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's just like perfect. And I have it on my left hand because I'm a two-handed stitcher, so I have my Lowry frame. And so my dominant hand goes underneath to put the needle through the fabric. And then my non-dominant hand is above. So when I'm stitching, you see, you I can know. see my ring. It's lovely. Really so if you want one, because I think everybody, all cross stitchers should have one, because why wouldn't you? I will put the link below. Um, she is doing a limited run of them. Um, and if you sign up to her, her newsletter, she will let you know 48 hours before they go on sale. So you can yeah, be there. Be there. Mm -hmm. um, they're really reasonable. She might ship worldwide i'm not sure i will double check that and put the info below um but yeah lovely i just it's love just it just simple it's simple but so it's like one of those things that nobody would really notice yeah. and then it, and then you but you're like no i'm a cross stitcher and i yeah and i have a needle ring yay that's my favorite one mm-hmm <laughs> So, do <clears throat> you have any plans? Um, well, um, to get your wonderful, loving husband to put my curtain rails up. <laughs> and my new curtain. Do you want to show them? Oh, oh. we weren't even going to buy curtains for this room. But, oh, when I saw them, I thought they're such, so crafty looking, so pretty, had to have them. So, yeah. So, but it, they need a, I need a pole. I've got a pole, but it just needs putting up and I'm not, I need, yeah. yeah. I, I think, just because I live alone, maybe I should invest in an uh, electric drill. Why? So I can DIY. Would you? You wouldn't have the strength to push the drill into the wall. Maybe not. Maybe not. I was thinking, like, what else would you use it for? Like, to defend yourself, or <laughs> could you live alone? <laughs> well, no, because there's jobs. It's like that Sarah Millican. Do you remember that Sarah Millican joke? She's on the. She's a a, a comedian. She's what was it from? So she is times out, and she's on the bus and she hears these ladies talking, and they're saying, "Oh, you know what's it like to be a man? What would you do, Elsie, if you were a man for the day?" And one of them says, "Well, no, in my look, it would be a Tuesday. What can you do on and a what Tuesday? What can you do on a Tuesday?" And the other one says, well, I'd get all my jobs done. Uh -huh. So, so, yeah. I thought, well, you don't have to be a 
man to get your jobs done but I thought yeah that would be nice just if for a day now and then to have a man day the strength and the it's very anti-feminist of us of, mother no that I, that I don't have because I can't as you just said I can't yeah but you don't have to and be a man to have the strength you just need to yeah sort yourself out well uh, hopefully Alex will Alex will come over and put your ball up for you yeah but nicely. yeah but I know but that's it how do you keep asking it's I'm like annoying but you're old how you're double dare you you're a grandma hey I know 29 year olds who are grandmas yeah, that's true so it's possible so yes. So you want your <clears throat> curtains putting up? So it was this. It, there was a reason that it got these that we went to Hobbycraft because Hobbycraft was. These yeah. aren't from Hobbycraft. No, but the curtain shop was near a Hobbycraft. Yeah, but you had to go to the curtain shop anyway because you had to take the old curtains back. Yeah. So yeah, and these remind me. These curtains remind me of. My Aunt Sheila's, when I was a little girl, we used to go there for holidays. Lives in the country in a place called Armourthwaite near Carlisle in Cumbria. And she had curtains like these, really country fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she did lots of things like um, flower pressing. And we used to go out along the country lanes and get ferns and mm -hmm. bracken and all sorts and bring them back and do flower pressing Aww. and put them in a scrapbook lovely so very um, nice when i say this i remember my aunt sheila and uncle gordon very fondly so i think that's that um they were doing their life update bit yeah i think we're done with stitchy stuff knitting stuff so if you don't like the life updates we'll say bye now mm -hmm. thank you for coming hope yeah. you come next time but if you like to nosy in people's lives we like to talk about yeah. it so and if you have any tips about the i cord cast on please comment below and let me know any tips about because i found it very difficult yeah to keep the tension so. okay so life update what's been going on well i got my um referral to rheumatology yes so i have this um weird and wonderful syndrome called shrogan syndrome if anybody knows about shrogan syndrome it's where your all immune system attacks your soft tissues so eyes so that's why i have to drink a lot because i've got very dry mouth dry eyes eyes aren't so bad but my mouth gets very dry mm -hmm. um <clears throat> and muscle aches and pains terrible terrible hip pain um but the roomy thinks it's my sacral spine so he ordered an MRI scan and I've only been up here a few months. Mm -hmm. Sorted. And within not even two weeks I was in the scanner. Mm -hmm. And so my bloods have come back and they're okay. Satisfactory. Satisfactory. And so now he's going to let us know what happens with the results of the MRI scan. And the care up here has just been amazing mm -hmm. absolutely amazing and he knew exactly what i was talking about when i was going through all my symptoms mm -hmm. he was taking it off yeah yeah is it your eyes or your mouth right i'm going to send you to refer you to a specialist mouth person mm -hmm. some people with shrogans get what we call a lip biopsy so yeah take a piece of your lip just to and really it's just to prove you've got that it's shrogans, but I'm not going to go 
Well, then no, because they can leave you I with don't it. want to. It's not. You don't need to prove it. I don't need that to way. prove it that way. No, I'm not going to go through that. No. My mouth's. I've had infections that, you know. Mm -hmm. And the, even the dentist was knowledgeable about uh -huh. Sjogren syndrome. So, so I'm really, that helps me feel safe uh, that, you know, hopefully there's a, a medication that I haven't been ever on. And he asked me, have you ever been on this? Hydroxy hydroxychloroquine. Chloroquine. Chloroquine. Yeah. <clears throat> I think they've been using it for COVID right. treatment. But it's a rheumatology. Yeah. So we'll see. And you've never you've never been on anything for your rheumatology. No. No for my children's nothing. No. No. So Well I don't know if it's just children's or if it's osteoarthritis. I don't think I have well it's a roomy it's a whole umbrella of yeah. things. So, but anyway, I need to feel better because I get so, so tired. Mm -hmm. Your bad days are really bad. My bad days are horrendous. I have to be in bed mm -hmm. and I have to ring you up and say I can't go and pick Blitman up mm -hmm. from nursery. And then I feel so guilty, it's so bad <clears throat> and annoyed. Yeah, it's true. with myself, so uh, so to think that there might be something that gives me a better quality of life mm -hmm. is, yeah, with my hands that's no good. I can't even open no jars, bottles now. So if she goes shopping, I have to come and open her orange juice for her. I'll leave things on the t on the top. Can you open this? Is Alex coming round? Can you just and he'll say, do you he'll come <laughs> now and he'll say, do you need anything opening? Bless her. So, yeah, that's, that's that. I had, then the decorator came, this lovely lady called Michelle. Michelle. Wonderful the decorator. Lady and the brush, and she just lives across the road, so uh -huh. it was brilliant. So, um. You had this wallpaper in your old house. Yeah. Liz had had that in her sitting room when her and Jared lived her. with me. So they had their own living room. It's beautiful. And it's lovely and it's a nice happy, uh, cheerful. Nicer background for us to film on it as is. well. It is. And we'll get some pictures and things up. <clears throat> some, some stuff up. So, um, And then hairdresser. So my yeah. hair. Yeah. And he's so lovely. You took my... So the day... Or a few days where I couldn't pick Anna up from. You had a bad day. And then the, then the next day wasn't good either. So you went and had your hair cut with my appointment. I stole your appointment. Yeah. Just so he didn't have a, a no-show. Yeah. That I just, I need the haircut anyway. Yeah. So you went and had the haircut and he said he's lovely. Uh -huh. So I had my hair cut but I didn't have time to do colour. And so um, conscientious he said I won't do a colour as you've had a. Patch test. Patch test. Absolutely. So patch test. And so we can't do it until next month, my colour. So. So did you get a patch test yesterday? Yeah. She oh, just good. did a little patch test. Yeah. Yeah. Tiny little thing. Yeah. So. Um, so, do you know, finding it, if you don't have, like your hair's long, you've kept it long, mm -hmm. straight, not tight, you can just put it back. Yeah. But because of my problems with my neck and shoulders and everything, I haven't got the strength or to blow dry it. Blow dry it to wash it even mm -hmm. and keep my hands up to rinse it. When it's long. <clears throat> when it's long. So I said to him, I can't have it long no. now. So I want something feminine. Mm -hmm. So it's it's nice and it's really short at the back so because I've I've got like sort of thick Yes. My hair sort of goes that way, not down, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So anybody who has hair that grows that way will know what I mean. <clears throat> so I don't have the strength in my arms to straighten it. I used to have my hair long and mm -hmm. put it up and put it up in like a little thing at the back, which, you know, 
nice easy to manage but I can't now no. so keep it short and he was Less lovely to manage. so he sort me grey out hat and you know blonde I don't know a little bit lighter a little bit lighter just maybe some yeah mm -hmm. So, but it's, uh, I think, you know, as well as a good roomie, you need a good, a good hairdresser. Yeah. So, that's, you know, all good. All things have just, since I moved up here, have just slotted nicely into place. At a, even with COVID, uh -huh. I've just slotted in nicely. So, the universe is looking after me. So, I'm so grateful for the universe. Yes. Taught you that, be <clears throat> and uh, now goodbye. Send out, yeah, positivity. Um, yeah. So yes, and the house looks so. The rest of the decorating as well is just white. Um, wallpaper on one wall each of each wall, and then white. Yeah, so it's very fresh. And so it's fresh when I get the, yeah. It's nice. It feels clean. Uh -huh. Yeah. <clears throat> the the old owners had a lot of grey. Dark grey, yeah. Like that when they're trying to be minimalist. Mm. I'm not Any UK view is like Mrs. Hinch thing. I don't like I don't watch Mrs. Hinch. But that kind <clears throat> of vibe. Not mum's vibe at all. So now you've got you like your stamp on it it's feeling yeah. more and so the like the living room downstairs i was having prob problems bonding with it yes <laughs> and so and now a bad relationship with your living room yeah <clears throat> you helped me find some wallpaper uh -huh. blue wallpaper yeah <coughs> i think i've talked too much <clears throat> recording for an hour and 40. yeah this video won't be an hour and 40 but it'll be quite long yeah so, yeah, but it's been fun, and have you, what about your life update, or oh, your earrings? Oh, yeah, these are, ooh, little bee earrings, because it was mine and Alex's third wedding anniversary on Wednesday, mm -hmm. um, so they were my little gift from him, um, for Anna, really, because she likes bees, mm. but she hasn't noticed them yet. No. Um... Anna was sick again. She got another bout of tonsillitis. Yeah. Oh my goodness me. So that was two lots of tonsillitis, two lots of antibiotics in as many weeks. But she's just a little trooper. She is. Takes her medicine, no bother. Mm -hmm. But it had it stained her teeth. Yeah. Um, which was apparently a very rare side effect, but it. Um, interrupts the calcification as her teeth are growing so she's got this brown line Line. Yeah. it's not too noticeable it kind of just looks like her teeth need brushing but we do brush her teeth Yeah. so I don't know the long term effects of that it should just well, be on it's her, just her first teeth, it's just her it? baby teeth she'll lose them but yeah. um, if she ever needs another antibiotic I think we're going to need to try a different one yeah um, Hopefully she won't. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah. She's caught all of the things that she wants mm -hmm. to catch. She had a lovely sleepover with me. Yes, so we went, far, we went out for our anniversary, and she had a sleepover here at Grandma's. That was good. And no bother at all. Just lovely. Tons of kisses and yeah, smiles and just yeah, mm -hmm. little angel at He's the minute. We'll just have to keep remembering this when she starts at terrible twos or threes or... Yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah. Just enjoying this moment. Yeah. She's so funny. Yeah. But apart from that, work's still the same. I'm still on um, part-time furlough. Working from home. Working from home. But hopefully I should be working from home permanently. There is a group of people, managers in the office that want everybody to go back to the office. Why? Why? When my boss is quite happy for me to work at home. Yeah. 
it's easy for me. My boss, there's nobody in the office that I collaborate with. I collaborate with all people off site. So yeah, it's just that. I think a lot of people are having it at the minute, whether they want to go back to the office and they're not allowed to or vice versa. Yeah. Whatever this pandemic has shown is that we can be flexible. Yeah. And more productive for more, sport. I'm so more, much more productive at home not being distracted by people at the office. Yeah. Um, but it's a... My company isn't embracing yeah. that as much or giving you the option. Because there are people that's like like working at the office, they don't want to work at home, they've not got the space or mm -hmm. however the family dynamic is. Um, but for me, I would prefer to work at home. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. I'm pretty confident because my boss is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. She will support it. But... Yeah. We shall see. I don't think there's else much else. Yeah, I think um, things are just sort of bobbing along. Mm -hmm. My my garden, with the help of you and Alex, yeah, it's coming on beautifully now. It's starting to, you know. Um, I have to take some pictures of the poppies and put them in here because they're gorgeous. Yeah. My sweet peas are starting to look like they're going to be a burst into mm -hmm. colourful flowering. Yeah. So it's getting, gosh, when I think this time next year it'll be, yeah. 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 I'll be, this is, this is it. Get your wardrobes yeah. in. The garden yeah. all have matured. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. That it? We've talked so much. I d if you're if you're still here, <laughs> well done. Yeah. Um. So yeah, comment below if you want one of those needle minders. I'll send it anywhere in the world. You just pop it in the post. It's no big mm -hmm. deal. Um. And we'll see you next time. Hopefully, it, this was four weeks since our last one. We need yeah. to. We need to maybe be a bit better at that maybe three yeah i can't knit that fast <laughs> <laughs> need to get going yeah <clears throat> okay we'll see you whenever okay then we'll be here bye bye